So perhaps consciousness is not, as Carl said, exclusively a spark in the brain, but a resonance through the whole body. Fascia might be yeah. the resonant field that allows consciousness to take shape, to have texture, to be lived. And one thing, it's not an organ and fascia is not a system. It, it transcends a system. It's the process yeah. by which we are continuously connected locally and globally from microtubule to movement. You're absolutely right, John. And we have not to, to forget that cells and fibers are absolutely connected. Yes. There is no separation between cells and the fibrillar network. All of them are in the same system. So the transmission of the information is mechanically possible. But the problem is we have a, a reductionist view in anatomy and in, in medicine, and we, we talk about parts, we talk about spaces, we talk, yeah. about, it's nonsense. Yeah. It's the, it's the only substance in the entire body that I've ever heard scientists argue, like, is it a tissue, an organ, or a system? And they can't quite classify it. It always has to do with fascia being more than simply tissue or a system. It, fascia is so much more. So, this movement concerning microtubules are the same as the movement we can see with fibrillar network, because they moved in the three dimension also. They can slide, they can lend, they can divide. And uh, I think it's very surprising to see that the mechanical comportment is the same inside the cell and out the cell. The fibers outside of the cell has yeah. the same behavior, the same mechanical behavior. They might be entangled. I think entanglement is probably necessary in the brain for normal consciousness and life itself. I've come to define life requiring quantum coherence and requiring consciousness.